I'm going to show you guys a great tip on how to make sure and get your parts in the right order. And this might not seem like a big deal, but once you check this out here, these gaskets, they're very similar in shape. And you can't trust color because they could change that manufacturing. And you can see here that these literally look almost identical, but they're different part numbers. Okay, And that could be due to thickness be multiple reasons but it doesn't matter when we order this we need to put this in the right place and you can see here what we're talking about is building up this carburetor assembly if you will and you'll see that I got a gasket an insulator a gasket the metal plate another gasket the carburetor another gasket the control plate another gasket and then the air box and when you go and look up the parts on the microfish here you're gonna see okay hey there's number five and then you look here and there's number 30 and you look here it took three different microfishes on this Honda to be able to locate all the gaskets and the thing is it might take a few days or a week by the time you get those parts and now you've got it all part on the bench you're trying to think well what order do they go so I already made mention that you always save your old parts and then you could take those old gaskets and lay them on top of these this is the beauty of saving your old parts you like to just match stuff up? Man, I'll tell you, that's from years of experience. You don't throw anything away until that job is out the door. And here is the real cool thing to do. Take all your parts and label that reference number, okay? Number 11 or so on. And then you could see here that I went ahead and made a quick cheat sheet of what order they go in. So number 11 is starting back here at the engine. Number 5 is all the way at the air box. That's my direction of order. But to be able to connect the dots on these two, you're going to have to go to your, your parts ordering system. So here's that parts uh, ordering system where we use the microfishes where we can match up the part number and reference number on the same page. And find out, for example, number 11, you know, what is that on the microfish as far as the part number. Match up your part number, write it on there, and you're just going to make life a heck of a lot easier. Here's another tip that's worth mentioning. You know, I have a rule here in the shop uh, that when you're working on a bench, the only thing on the bench is what you're trying to work with. Get everything else off there that doesn't apply uh, away and not have any distractions with that. Lay everything out, and you're going to find much more success with that. I can't stress enough how cool this would be for uh, you parts people that are doing this, maybe to help your technicians out and kind of overall increase the efficiency of the shop. It's a great idea when possible just to print those microfishes um, or at a minimum just jot down that reference number so that we can put these together the right way. Small details like these gaskets just being slightly different can allow us to end up putting something in in the wrong place. So attention to detail, uh, just keep on with your craftsmanship, uh, keep wrenching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.